Hello everyone. It is Wednesday, April 6th, and today in Rhode Island, it has been raining. So, dare I say, April showers bring May flowers. We can only hope. Okay, talking a little funny. Everything's been happening. It's been so crazy. We went from COVID with nothing going on, and now it seems like every day I have to go somewhere and I have to get something, I have to accomplish something, and then things happen and you've got to get them fixed. Well, what happened was um, I had a doctor's appointment this morning, um, general medicine, internal medicine, internal medicine for my, I went to speak with my physician because I wanted to talk about um, having my, um, before I ha just went and had the colonoscopy and endoscopy that I have to have this year. Um, I wanted to talk to her about some things that have been bothering me. Well, I I was scheduled for colonoscopy. Well, I was scheduled to, to schedule one. <laughs> anyway, I went there early this morning. Um, she's in um, East Providence. She's part of lifespan. She practices at Wayland, um, the Wayland... Um, they just call it Wayland Street, I think. It's where she does some uh, procedures. She also does Rhode Island. She also does Miriam. But the, the the soonest one was going to be at Wayland. So that's the one I picked. But it's not going to be till early June. Anyhow, um, I went and talked to her. I told her about some other things bothering me. So she recommended an endoscopy as well as colonoscopy. And I figured, ah, might as well get those two done. And maybe that'll be done for a while. Okay. So schedule that, leave there, been trying, oh, I'm not going to tell you that yet. Um, but then I called the dentist because yesterday I was eating some grapes, some nice, soft, juicy grapes, and it felt like I cracked something, a tooth. And so um, once I got out of that doctor, I called my dentist and they were able to see me at two. So I went, I'm watching out high. <laughs> So it turns out, yes, I did crack. It's the wisdom tooth, which my dentist always says, don't keep them. They're not doing you any good. You might as well just get rid of it. It cracked. And some of the nerve, something's exposed, so it must be nerve. Because yesterday I heard something crack. I was eating grapes. I thought I might have didn't see a stem and I chewed on it or maybe a seed. But as it turns out, it was the tooth because they showed me the pictures. And um, so it needs to be pulled. But I have to psych myself up before I get a tooth pulled. So I, she said, or else you can just gamble and see how long it lasts. I said, no, why why postpone the inevitable, right? So she, I said, she goes, I can desensitize it for you, which she did, which, oh my God, it hurt, it hurt worse than just... See, this is why I thought something happened, because I drank a cold soda, and it really bothered me there, and it doesn't usually. So, anyhow, she desensitized it. Oh, that kind of hurt. And so, now it's just kind of funny in there. It could be in here. But anyway, I made the appointment. The closest they could give me was May, May 5th. But if there, I'm on the cancellation list. Not that I'm going to cancel, but that if there is a cancellation, I'm hoping to be called. You know, I saw it. She took pictures and she stuck those things in your mouth that and my gums always get hurt when I do that stuff. Okay. Why am I talking about this? Oh, I'm talking about this is because the weeks are flying by. I'm barely getting any of my crafty stuff done because I've got all life stuff going on. <sighs> but. I said last week I'd do the white rabbit, and I did a white bunny. I had done one white bunny and took it apart because I didn't think it looked like a white bunny. So then I decided to do this pattern. I'm going to show you what it looks like ahead of time. That one's easy. Let's get the glare out. Can I? Maybe like that. There we go. That's what, it, that's what the bunny looks like. That one happens to be pink. I did white. I probably should have done pink. I did two white bunnies and don't really like the looks of them. But that one's blocked. I only just finished mine. And so it's not blocked yet. But I put it on a board, a design board to see. Wait a minute, which way is that bunny supposed to be pointing? It's supposed to be looking that way. Oh, I happen to be going the right way. This will probably not. All right. 
maybe if I hold it far away, you can tell it's a bunny. But it <laughs> it's not blocked. And it's not pinned on here either. But I wanted to. I'm going to block it tonight and see if it turns into a better bunny. There we go. With the glare off of it. Yeah, I guess it's a bunny. I want to make a little pom-pom and put it here. I think that's what I'll do tonight. Because it's getting a little easier to do things at night. Because... Most of my appointments are done now. Tomorrow I have a luncheon appointment for one of our friends. Um, there's just going to be three of us. We're going to lunch at Tavolo in Smithfield. Um, and then Friday, I'm going with my friend Paula. We're going up to Portsmouth, New Hampshire for the day because it's the um, New England quilt. I think it's the Mancuso quilts, but a comp uh, one of the stores up in New Hampshire called Bits and Pieces, it's a quilting shop. They took on organizing, let's see, is it sponsoring? I don't think so because the main sponsor is Handy Quilter. But anyway, it's in Portsmouth, New Hampshire. I believe it's at the Best Western, so we'll be going up there. It seems so good to be able to think we're going out to a quilt show to look at quilts and to see all the vendors and the products and get to spend money that we probably don't, hold on, I don't have, because I've been spending money left and right lately between all the things going on. And I, <laughs> all I have this week for knitting is the bunny. Um, I haven't done any knitting. I'm, I, I want to go, I want to actually start knitting mittens because even though it's April, we know it's Christmas is, hmm, next time I'm going to find out how soon um, Christmas is. Well, if we think, look at it this way, today is week, 14 so that means 13 13 13 okay so we're one fourth away we're over one fourth because last week when it was 13 that's a quarter right yeah 13 then 26 weeks is halfway there anyhow so we're in week 14 14 weeks in 2022 have already well, we're in the middle of it have taken place so yeah, I'm looking forward to the quilt show on Friday. And then Sunday, I have tickets with my friend Chris. We're going to see going to Trinity. And um, so as I said, I only have my bunny. I showed you my acquisitions last week of all the uh, yarn that I had gotten from um, Hobby Lobby. And those are going to be more dishcloths. Oh, excuse me. Oh. It's a rainy day. Always makes me tired. And it's not late. It is 6.32 p.m. So I remembered it was Wednesday. I remembered all day that I had to... I was finishing that um, dishcloth just this afternoon after I came back from the dentist. But I have a couple other acquisitions I'd like to show you that I got for very reasonably priced. First of all, I bought a... Um, Keepsake Quilting was sending um, emails regarding their 50% off sales. They were having a lot of sales. And even though I'm trying to declutter and de-stash, and um, I have way more than enough projects to keep me busy, but there are some things. Is this. This is a Laura Hine pattern. She does... Um, hold on. Does it say what they are? This one's called So Happy, but it's a collage quilts, I think. What you do is you collect a bunch of different fabrics. Let's see if I can get it without the glare. You're supposed, to, you're supposed to collect fabrics, and then when you have things that you want to put in the collage, you cut it out. And so the fun of these quilts is that oh, there's also some instructions here to um, build a quilt from all different fabrics that kind of look cool, like to make the pin cushion, make the scissors. She had this floral for the uh, uh, dress form. There's some letters that you can, I don't know if you sew them on or if, you, if they're very thinly um, cut out, but you can see it's a collage quilt. And she has a lot of different patterns to give you an idea what to do, but if you're artistic and can create <laughs> you could create anything on your own collage quilt well this wasn't only the pattern this was a kit and they were 50% off 
So I paid 40 something bucks for this. I paid like $43, I think. I know I'm not supposed to be buying more projects, but how could I pass this up? Look at these fabrics. Oh my goodness. Is it, I'm looking for the salvage to see. Oh my goodness. That's for the dress form. Hmm. Beautiful. Oh my goodness. There's a, a number of. So there's fabric for the kit. Oh, butterflies. And this. Oh, I thought these were all separate fabrics. They are not. This is all the back. Oh my goodness. It's a panel. This is going to be even better than I thought. Oh, here's the, it's some um, Wyndham fabrics, and the the the, the pattern, uh, the 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 fabric line is called Happy Chance by Oh Laura Hines. So she does. She does a fabric line. See, I didn't know that because I I knew about her from a few years back, but then recently I went to Emma's Quilt Shop in Franklin and saw that they had a number of patterns of hers. They're beautiful, and if they're kits, oh my goodness, look at this. I don't have, this is not the work I thought it was going to be. And so I got it for $43, and I had to get it. Had to get it. And, all right, I'm going to put all this back. The smaller pieces for the collage, and then this is a larger piece. Oh, some different pieces in here. Beautiful. Oh, this is going to move up the line because I, I, I'm anxious about this. And I'm going to have to bump that one up. Yeah. Then they had, this was crazy. This was a mystery bundle. A mystery bundle from Keepsake Quilts. It was in a different, I didn't order it with the same order. It's just that they kept sending emails with uh, good deals. So I... Um, the offer was, it was a mystery. You'd get eight half yard cuts for $25. No, that can't be right, but it was right. I mean, I, I'd have to look up my PayPal, but it was 20 something bucks. And it was, I thought it was eight back quarters. It was eight half yard cuts. And here they are. These are half yard cuts and there are eight of them. And this was the mystery. And these are just like, oh, lovely. These are like fabrics I really like. It's an orchid floral and the blue swirls. And I love the tiny prints. They look a little, I love the large prints. It's like a border fabric. Oh my goodness. This is a nice neutral. And here's a mauve, and here's, this was 20-something dollars. Come on. Oh, I think I'm, now I'm going back over it, but because it's, it's a half yard. So there are eight half yard cuts. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Yeah. So that was a real bargain. Now, I got a couple of things from So Yeah, the So Yeah brothers, and um, one was really great, and one wasn't as great. It's good, but it didn't, it was one of those that you take a chance on, because I think they call it a sushi pack. I don't even remember how much I paid for that. Um, I didn't bring it. Let me be right back. I'm going to be right back and get it so you can see what I mean about how it's very good, but it might not, I might not use it, but I might just have to figure out who I'm going to give it to. Okay, acquisitions. I found the acquisition that I was going out for, but as I did, my little buddy, my new little buddy is going to join me for a minute. Hello, everyone. This is Oliver. <laughs> Oliver, look at the, look at the screen. He has dirty eyes. On. Let's show your face. This is Oliver. He kept keeps going out so he's not as lily white clean as he, it's a rainy day so he kept going in the mud today. Let's see if I can show you what he looks like. Oliver, Oliver, want to stand up or sit? How about sit? 
Here he is. <laughs> Look at yourself. You like to watch TV. Look at yourself in the screen. Do you see yourself? Do you see yourself? Oh, you you getting tired? You just want to cuddle? He's a big white fluffy boy. There he is. So this is Oliver. He's my new best friend. I got Oliver on Saturday quite as a I surprised myself. I went to look at more Cavachons and he was all alone in a crate. He's a Bichon Fusé. He was born January 1st. So he's three months old. And he can be a handful. But he's so nice. Um, yeah. He's really he's really a, a good addition to our family. Because now my dog, Molly, is not as sad. Well, she was kind of not happy for three days. But as of yesterday, when Hunter came over, Hunter started playing with Oliver. And uh, Molly, our older Cavachon, Got a little jealous and just wanted to um, play also because he always she always plays with um, Hunter, and so Molly finally joined in. And since yesterday afternoon, she's been playing with Oliver. So um, they always say if you get a boy, if you have a girl, get a boy, and if you got a boy, get a girl. But I had two girls for the longest time. They were at best of friends. But they didn't fight. They were cordial, you know, and they, they coexisted. They were in each other's business all the time. Molly always knew where Zuzu was and so forth. So um, now that we have this little Oliver guy, and he's doing pretty good with the, with the um, house training and the eating and the adjusting and sleeping in his crate. <laughs> I guess he's camera shy today. Hello, Oliver. What? What are you gonna do? All right, I'm gonna put him down. I think he was in a play session with Molly. Okay, say goodbye. I just dropped your bone. Look at, say goodbye. <laughs> Can't even see his face because he's he's acting like he's exhausted, which he might be because it is six thirty and puppies are supposed to sleep a lot. But because he follows me around all day, he doesn't sleep much. Okay, find your bone. It's right there. All right, here's a toy. There you go. And he's good with toys. I mean, he's a little snippy, but not bad, um, being as he's teething. And he, you give him toys, he's just fine with him chewing that up. So let me talk about my sushi. This is the sushi roll that they get. So I got this one, which is a really good price. However, I think they're, I don't know if they're full yards or half yards. Let me see. Oh my goodness, it's a full yard. So you get three one-yard cuts. And I got football. <laughs> but you can make those three-yard quilts that are kind of like personal quilts. And Dennis's grandson, Cooper, plays football. So even though this isn't something that I was looking to get, but now that in here are the footballs, this novelty fabric is really quite nice. Who's this by? Blank Quilting Corp. Don't know them. <laughs> Never heard the name Blank. And then this one's just a coordinating green. That looks, that'll look nice with it. So I might get one of those um, three, one of those patterns that's a three yard quilt and do one up for Christmas for Cooper because he's playing, he plays football now. But this is one I wouldn't have probably, if I saw it, I wouldn't get it for him because I don't even know if he wants a quilt, but because I have the fabric now, I can make him one. So that's the end of my acquisitions. So I actually had three fabric acquisitions and one dog acquisition. Yeah, we went Saturday to look at Cavachons and Dennis took a ride with me, but he said he wasn't going to go in and look at the dogs because he's still quite sad. But, um, and I had my heart set on a Cavachon because that's what Zuzu was and that's what Molly is. But the Bichon Fizé is the mother of the mix, the, that breed mix. They... They mix a, a Bichon with um, Cavalier King Charles Spaniel. So I never thought I wanted a Bichon, but <laughs> Oliver, I named him Oliver for that look he has. I think he needs to wear a bow tie. I don't know if I'm thinking of Mr. Peabody or what, but Oliver is his name. And um, 
he was sticking his nose out the crate and when I went to talk to him he just kind of we made this eye contact that kind of felt like yep that's my dog that's what happens to me when I get dogs you can hear him playing with his squeak toy I love to hear that most people would go out of their minds crazy listening to that craziness but anyway we got him Saturday. Today is Wednesday. So in four days, he's really making great progress. Um, sleeps in a crate, no problem. Or if I go somewhere, like today I had to go out twice to the dentist and to the doctor. So I stuck him in his crate and Molly just kind of keeps an eye on things in the house. But it's, I hated leaving Molly alone because she always had her companion, Zuzu. So now, even though the first few days she didn't like Oliver, she always knew where he was, knew what was going on. It kind of refocused her attention from just being, oh God, she was so sad and so depressed, looking so down all the time. And she was so mopey and she wasn't playing. Well, she's 10. She doesn't play that much. But anyway, we're back to a, well, a two dog family. I was going to say a four person. No, two dog, two person family. A four-member family okay so that's it for tonight hopefully I don't have as many appointments coming up this week now I want to get moving on my quilts I want to get moving on my mittens I want to get moving on my shawl my Stephen West shawl that I don't even have the the yarn for yet uh, and I'm continuing with my um, dishcloths because uh, my sister-in-law well I call her my sister-in-law came over the other day and um, I gave her a couple and I gave her some instructions and because she used to knit and she hasn't knit in forever and she's going through some you know some rough stuff right now and it would be good to take a break and maybe pick up something like that she's she's the one who suggested it so I said here's a pattern here's some yarn here's a dishcloth or two to, to, to copy um, well, to look at, so you'll know, because I, I gave her the one that um, that starts on, oh, grandmother's favorite, the idiot dishcloth. I gave her that pattern so that she probably remember it as she goes along. She used to knit sweaters back in the day. So anyway, yeah, I did that. So I want to I wanna stash of those dishcloths because they're good for giving. I love that. So I hope you're having a nice a nice beginning April, a, a nice beginning of the, ooh, I hope the beginning of April is, you're having a good time at the beginning of April. And I said, I'm, it's not that late. Well, I have been getting up early with the puppy. Sunday was a quilting day for me. I couldn't go. I was so exhausted, but it wasn't the puppy's fault. It was my fault because I had all this ang angst, I guess. I was just so, so hyper. Uh, the whole day that I got the dog and then I was watching him like he was a little baby and then I put him in the crate and I didn't put him in I put him in the room with me and I shouldn't have because he just kept looking at me and I was looking at him and we kept each other up he didn't cry or anything but then the next morning I put him in the crate and took Molly for a walk and when I he didn't cry he didn't care he slept when I came back he was asleep sound asleep because he didn't get enough sleep Saturday night either then Sunday I did a lot of cooking and some of our family and friends came over to see the dog, which I love. We love showing everybody the dog so they get to know him. Um, but I was so tired. I couldn't go to quilting because I didn't want Dennis to have the burden of watching the dog the first day in the house. Plus, I wanted to be there. And then I didn't even make it to my knitting, my um, espresso knitting group on Zoom because I would have thought I was just so exhausted. I said, uh-oh, maybe it's time to rethink this puppy thing. Well, it was too late to rethink it, but it wasn't buyer's remorse or anything like that. It was just, I was kind of going on um, just energy for the, I didn't get enough rest over the that two day, that day and night period, 24 hour period. So things are much better now. Like I would say, he gets so tired that if I sit down on the couch at night, he'll, he can't get on the couch. So if I put him on the couch with me, he just falls right asleep. He leans against me. So I have my little cuddle bug friend again, and he just stays with me and he stays on the couch until it's time for me to put him in the crate. And well, we go out a lot. Like I'll pick him up every couple of hours and put him outside. He's doing well with the treats and the, the training outside. I mean, we have misses, of course, well, especially today. 
I was gone twice. Plus, it was raining, and I, I didn't want to stand in the rain. So I don't want him standing in the rain. And I can't, I can't have treats, a box of treats, and an umbrella, and watch him and try to reward him if he if he goes. So, anyhow. I hope you're enjoying this month of April, the first six days. We've had some pretty nice weather, and now we're getting the rain for our flowers and our plants and our gardens. My husband just rototilled all our area, and he's bought his lettuce. It's it's in the greenhouse now. Um, sometimes you buy lettuce from the nursery, and it doesn't look that good, but he kind of um, spruces them up in the greenhouse, and then he, he plants them. I mean, we... Who knows what might happen in the week, next week or two. So he's not planting them yet. But we're getting ready for the garden. So it's getting to be that nice time of year. Enjoy April. I'll be back next week with a different dishcloth. And hopefully with some other things I can show you that are fiber related. And maybe Oliver will, take, will make an appearance. So maybe he won't. <laughs> Because everyone's telling me, oh, you think he's wonderful and he's working out so well. Wait till he gets used to the house. You'll be pulling your hair out. But I hope not because he's a baby. You can't blame them for anything. They're just fun. He's hilarious. He's making us laugh. So enjoy your week. I'll see you ne next week. And we'll go from there. Bye now.